All right, fresh off for signing his rookie contract, Janarius Robinson joins me virtually here inside the TCO studios. Janarius, congratulations. We talked on draft night. Now we're talking after rookie mini camp, and you just signed your contract. How does it feel? Congratulations. Man, it feels great, you know, to start this new chapter and this new chapter in my life, you know, here at the Minnesota Vikings. And, you know, I'm just, you know, grateful to be here and ready to take advantage of all the opportunities that I got. Man, we were talking off camera a little bit. Um, of course, the process of getting here is a process in its own, you know, being at Florida State five years. But now you're here, you've achieved the dream of making it to the NFL. Have you had a chance to breathe, like, throughout all the work you've been putting in? Of course, you know, since I got here last Wednesday to start rookie mini camp, you know, I was just taking it all in and being that sponge and, you know, understanding that I'm here for a specific reason. And, you know, I can't wait to get to work with all the guys. Coach Andre Patterson started day two of mini camp saying, like, hey, y'all know we the work hardest working group on this team, right? And he takes pride in that. Like, that made me get skin chills just thinking about that, you know, just in a walkthrough setting. For you, when your coach tells you that, how does that change your mindset? Uh, it changes my mindset by, by understanding the grind, you know, uh, you know, coaches holding us to a high standard, you know, I'm ready to achieve that standard and, you know, me and all the guys, all the rookies, you know, we're, we're ready to come in and go to work and, you know, push for that standard that coach has set out the, uh, for us. What's been your thoughts on Coach Dre so far? I mean, we all know he's a great dude, but you being in the room with him. I uh, love him. Um, he, he's a good coach. He knows his business and knows his game. And, you know, I just can't wait to, you know, just let him pour into me and, you know, mold me into the you know, great player that he's, you know, more to other players than uh, to be. I was telling people, I was like, man, Janarius Robinson, when you, when you look at him, like, you know, on video, of course, it's like, okay, this guy's a big dude, but actually seeing you in person, I'm like, yo, this dude can, like, scratch his kneecaps. Down, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, using your, your length and your size to your advantage, like, how have you been able to do that, and what are you learning about yourself through this process? Uh, just learning how to be, you know, versatile um, in the run game, how to use my athleticism and my length to my advantage, you know, to, to get, you know, opposing tackles and opposing teams, you know, get that separation from me and the, uh, the tackle. And just, just knowing that, I mean, of course, you know, college, that was already a grind, but now practicing in the NFL, like any, you know, stark differences between, you know, college and NFL just thus far? It's only been two weeks, but... All right. I can say so far, you know, uh, something different from college and uh, the NFL that's practice wise is, is individual, you know, a lot more individual time uh, with your coach, you know, learning different techniques and different schemes and things that's going to put you in the best position, you know, to be successful. What about the mental aspect? Um, very mental, um, a, le a lot less physical right now, um, more mental of learning plays and, you know, understanding that vets are here now. So, you know, the reps are limited, so, you know, with every rep you get, you know, you have to be on top of your stuff so you don't go out there and mess up because you only get limited uh, chances. And that's something that, you know, wasn't like that in college. You got a lot of reps and, you know, just understanding you got to take advantage of every opportunity that's presented to you because you don't get that many. Right. And But having those vets, you know, learning from those guys, I'm sure that's been a process for you, right? I mean, just to be able to just see it in person, right? All right. So, like, you know, when I'm not getting those reps, you know, I'm watching the person that's in front of me, watching the vet, you know, and, and I'm walking through. I'm not out there on the field, but I'm walking through my certain steps and certain techniques, you know, and trying to be a sponge and learn anything that I can from that vet to put me in the best position to be successful. Man, so what does what success look like for you just during this? We're not even talking season. We're not even going to talk preseason yet, but just this offseason, what does success look like for you? Just growing and learning, and, you know, getting 1% better each day, you know, taking that step in, you know, getting better at something that I might have, you know, messed up on the day before. You know, just growing and learning every day and, you know, adding things to my game that's going to, you know, make me into a great player. Man, I'm looking forward to see you seeing that. I'm looking forward to seeing the progress and the progression going forward, man. Thank you for joining me again. Hey, it's go time now. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely.